my fun lads. Yeah. Yep, yeah, fun yeah, everything in the one you row except for the Proto Barrow board, that's uh, our stuff. Do DIY too, right? Yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the whole arcade button idea, so that's just like a, what, it's, it's a gate when you push it down and yep. it's off whenever you let off? It's pretty much, yeah. So you have, this one I have hooked up to that drum, so, you know, whenever you hit it, you can see the drum here. On the gotcha. Show. And pretty much as long as you hold it down, it's showing off the gate. The, uh, the other thing you can do with it is if you have a... Uh, if you have an audio signal, you can patch that in to the input, and then when you hold down the button, it'll act as a manual gate. Okay, so, so it just the, passes, the, yeah. passes it through? Yeah. Wow, that's so great. It's got debound circuits, so you don't get like extra double triggers, like you normally do with like a spring-loaded switch like that. So, yeah, it's a fun little module. I've been getting the old arcade games kind of okay. recently, like playing Donkey Kong and nice. Burger Time, all the classic stuff, okay. but I don't know. It's, and I'm a drummer too, so I like the hands-on. Yeah, you know, it really part. makes a lot of stuff more playable. Um, I love sequence music, but I love trying to trigger in some randomness and stuff like that. Right. So you know, you can trigger a reset to your clock divider, your sequence, or whatever else floating around. Yeah. Um, I'm working on a, a one U joystick that uses like the little PS2 joystick. Some ones. That'd be cool. So I didn't quite have that all ready to go for this, but that'll be here shortly. You ever think about doing like a grid of buttons, like a four by four or something? Yeah, I actually have. Uh, it's a 12 HP 3U that's got a joystick and two arcade buttons. Really? And then the the outputs you can flip the panel. So if you're right handed or left handed. Gotcha. That's already out there? No, that one's another kind of it'll be open source hardware, like the Comrade and the, the Palika tiles. So yeah, so lots of fun stuff. So yeah, we have uh, kids with the Chaos Divider, you know it's Oh yeah, so, that's a new one, right? Yep, yeah, that's a new one. Yeah, these are uh, custom face plates for the Chaos Divider. Okay. So they're just uh, they're the same aluminum panels that get powder coated and screen printed, but these I use a uh, iron paint and a copper paint, and then with the, the, the acidic activators it rusts or patinas them, and then the clear coat them I use glow in the dark paint, so they'll actually glow at night oh, that's cool. in a dark room, so kind of fun to have some blank ones if people want to, you know, paint the markers and do their own thing with it. Cool. So. Oh, thanks for talking to us. Absolutely, yeah. Enjoy.